Again, today we're trying to complete our series of The Heritage by Lennar Holmes in Summerlin, which is Stonebridge community, the latest and greatest. They have three collections. We are again at the Sterling Collection, and today we are at, what did I have here, Dan? We are at the Sydney model, and the Sydney model is 1,853 square feet, three bed, two bath, two car garage, and starting price, 660000 Now, with that being said, they have lot premiums here that are anywhere between 10000 to 500000 depending where you want situated. Obviously, the 10000 being something with no view, and the $500,000 one probably being the crown jewel overlooking the entire valley, 360 views, no one behind you, blah, blah, blah. So, let's start right away. Um, this is one of the only ones out of the eight bottles that they have here that actually have a three bedroom. I believe this one and another one in the other collection, um, the Elizabeth, I believe it was. So those are, should be the only three bedrooms in here. Let's get started. Bedroom number one, standard bedroom, standard closet. You're looking at probably 12 by 11. Uh, I like the light coming here from the windows on both sides, but that's the third bedroom right off here towards the front of the house. Coat closet, linen closet, no, coat closet. There you go, so coat closet right at the front door. And then full bath for the hallway bathroom. So again, we have the vinyl for the flooring. It's a little different style than the other vinyl from the previous uh, model that we looked at, which was a little bit darker. But again, this is vinyl, this isn't tile. Tile would be an upgrade. Almost guarantee that this vinyl is the standard what comes with the base price. So that's pretty cool. Undermounted sink, shower tub module combo, basic bath. And then we went over the closet. Front door, uh, hallways probably your standard width. I mean, we're looking at what, three and a half, four feet. So not the biggest, but that's just a personal preference. Now this I assuming would be the third bedroom. They have it stationed obviously as a den, but because of the closet, it's a third bedroom. So a lot of times they'll say it's a two bedroom and a den. And the reason why it's a den and not a third bedroom is because simply for the fact that they don't have a closet. So all you need to do is throw in a closet and it's basically legally a bedroom. This one actually is a bedroom. They're posing it as a den. <laughs> uh, this would be off to the garage, locked as usual. Laundry room, as soon as you come in, a uh, little bit of space here for storage, fold your laundry here, washer and dryer, and then this, again, like the one that we came from before, has the master walk, I should say, the owner's walk-in closet, which comes around from the back, right from the laundry room, and would continue on through the owner's suite. We'll get to that. But this is a laundry room. You know, it's one of those things where you, where you like or hate, right? Some people like the fact that you have a laundry room that's literally right off of your, your closet and it's convenient and it's just kind of a cool concept because I've never really seen that before up until the last couple of years. Other people say, I do not want a door going into my back end of my master suite, on my owner suite uh, from the laundry. So it's so whatever. Out here, completely open. Little different countertops than we've seen on the other ones. Oh, what do they have here? Mowing faucets, soft clothes closets per usual and all the ones. I'm trying to see what specific countertop. Yeah, well, we know it's quartz. So quartz, again, is just the other ones were a little more white. This is a little more gray. And I'm assuming you could probably get the other choice if you wanted to, but this is another standard choice that they have. I like it. Right, all the other ones were kind of a little bit lighter and white, and this is this is a little bit uh, a little bit darker. Undermounted sink, mowing faucets. Uh, they have a water filtration system down here as well. I'm not sure if they have it included. They'll include it when you close. So they have an awesome water water filtration system, um, which purifies your water. That's good to go. Those things are a couple couple grand, so that's included. Little mini walk-in pantry, I should say. Little mini pantry here, um, nothing big, but definitely enough storage. Again, GE appliances, they have monogram in the models, but they come with the standard GE, the monogram are 
GE, they're just the high end of it. Two sliding glass out here. Now, the other ones, the other models that I've, that I've noticed in this, this whole collection tend to have more sliding glass doors and more windows. So it's a little more light coming in. This is, this is kind of unique as far as it doesn't have that. So, um, but it's a good size backyard. This is more standard. You know, like the, the more kind of modern contemporary ones are the ones that have the, the multiple sliding on this side, multiple sliding on that side. So, but overall, I like it. You know, backsplash, nice touch. So, all right, let's wrap up back here to the second bedroom. So out here, I'm, you know, I'm sure you could easily have a dining room table here and have that set up. In this, they just have it situated to chill out. So not a big deal. Over here, obviously the living space where they have the TV mounted up and all that stuff. So um, there we go, man. I mean, nice and open, nice and open. This is what, 1853 square feet? It looks pretty spacious for 1853, I would have to say. I mean, it looks like it's probably 2000 or more. Uh, a little bit small of an owner suite. I say that because that's a king size bed and there's not much room to the right or left, but it's adequate, definitely adequate. Door going out to the back, just like they do for all the other models. And then the owner's bath, as per the other bathrooms, undermounted sinks, standard countertops, soft closed cabinets, the white on white, shower module, toilet, and then right here, comes right into the back of the closet, which then flows right into the laundry. Pretty nice flow, huh? Nice even circular throw through the house. Bedroom number one, bedroom number two, and then of course the owner suite separated back here in the back by itself. So you have everyone conjuring out here. You have the, bat, the kitchen there. Um, and then the owner suite back there. So that's about on this one. Um, I think I've gone over the HOAs before, which are, the HOAs are 300 a month for the immediate, 55 for the master in Summerlin. SIDS and LIDS, I believe, are $756 biannually. I'm not sure what the total is probably gonna be 20, 25,000. So the way that works is the 750 will be paid twice a year until the 20,000 or whatever the total cap on it is met. There's not really, it's not really advantageous for you to pay it off early. It's custom practice in Las Vegas. When you go to sell the home that that cost or that new amount goes to the new buyer and then they pay Hi, it until they sell it and so I'm forth. A real so car. Um, comments, questions, let me know. If you wanna take a look at these, I can get you in seven days a week. Please like and subscribe everybody. I appreciate you watching, thanks. Talking about my business, my snooze snatch. My business, my snooze. Hi, I'm a real car.